Hi, it's Becky, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I went shopping, and I've not been like physically shopping in a shop, even Tesco, for four months. So it was very exciting. I felt fine in the shops as well, I wore my mask, everyone was being counted into the store, um, and then obviously when people came out, more people could go in, there was hand sanitizer. So yeah, I did feel really safe. So I went to Primark. I did also go to H&M, but that is gonna be in a separate haul. It is brilliant to shop in Primark when there is hardly anyone else in there, but there didn't seem to be as much stock. Um, obviously they had to make sure that people could stay two meters apart so they didn't have as many little like islands as they normally do. But yeah, there just didn't seem to be as much stock. I did still, however, get uh, one, two bag. So I'm gonna start with clothing and then we've got some accessories and a couple little home bits as well. So I got this blazer which I thought was so nice. Plain white blazer, it's got one button and then it has actually got pockets. They are stitched up but if you wanted to use them as pockets obviously you can undo the stitching and use them. I think a blazer is perfect to wear over a t-shirt dress just to smarten it up a bit. So I put it with this t-shirt dress and then some trainers as well. And you can see it just makes it look a little bit more smarter and not like you're wearing a nighty. I sometimes feel like when I'm in a t-shirt dress I look like I'm wearing a nighty. So yeah, just having an oversized blazer to kind of chuck on with it is really nice. It was only £23. It does say matching items available but I couldn't find what the matching item was. I assume it would be some trousers somewhere but... Uh, I don't know whether I'd got them anyway, to be fair. But I got this in a size 14, just so it is more oversized. It actually fits perfectly. It fits exactly how I would want it to. I just rolled the sleeves up a little bit to give it a little bit more structure, but it fits fine. The length is really nice as well. It just kind of goes past my bum. I did think about getting it in a 16 or an 18, but then I feel like the shoulders don't fit very well. The length is nicer, obviously, on those ones, but I just didn't like the way the shoulders would fit. I think it was just a really good, versatile piece to add to my wardrobe. Next, we've got this jumper. So it's just a cream jumper, and it's got this little detail kind of on the sleeve. I got this in an extra large, and it was reduced from £10 down to £5 which is really good. I like jumpers to be like baggy and oversized and comfy. I don't like tight jumpers. It was really annoying though, because this has got a pull in it. I don't know if you can see that, but like along here, the thread was hanging out. And I think basically that happened when you know they shove all the hangers in as well. They don't unhang the clothes and fold them and put them in. They just kind of shove it all in. Basically a hanger got stuck on it and it's pulled it. So I've pulled the pull through to the inside, which obviously it, it doesn't look too bad, but I don't know, I mean it's five quid, so I just think with like some leggings and a jacket over the top, just when you're sort of running around. I do quite like it, but I'm just annoyed that the little thread is pulled. And then I've got this gray cardigan. So again, this I got in an extra large, uh, it was 13 pounds. It's just quite nice, just nice and like slouchy. Let me just pop this on now. Obviously you can see it in the trial clip, but I just, it's just cozy. It's just completely plain. It's not got any sort of buttons or any detailing on the front. I like the sleeves being long. Obviously you can roll them up if you want to, but yeah, I just like a nice sort of cozy cardigan. It did come with a belt, but I would not use this. I just would have the cardigan on its own. Just a really nice slouchy cardigan. Can't really go wrong. Next, I've got this plain black dress. So it's got like the little capped sleeves. It's not a full on maxi dress, but it is quite long. And then it's got this little tie up bit in the middle so you can cinch it in and then tie it with this. This I got in a size 14 because I wanted it to be big, but I think it would have been big anyway. So I think really I should have just got my normal size. I think I probably, I don't know, maybe I should have got a 12, which would have been like one size up. It is still really nice and I sort of tied it at the front normally and that looks all right. And then I also tied it but wrapped these two strings kind of like around and then back to the front and then tucked it up and that gave me definitely more of a shape. I just thought this would be really nice in the summer, throw on some sandals, maybe throw on a big hat and it is so comfortable as well. One of the most comfortable dresses I've ever worn because it is literally just like a sack. It would be good if you were going like on pub lunch so that you could eat lots of food and no one would really notice. 
Next, I've got a lounge set because I don't believe you can go to Primark and not pick up a lounge set or some pajamas. I think it would actually be impossible. It's a ribbed fabric and it's kind of that like grey mull thing. Um, this is the top, it's just got long sleeves and I got this in a size medium just so it would be a little bit bigger and a bit more slouchy. And then the bottoms are just some long like jogger style bottoms. They've got a cuff at the bottom of the leg and they've got a drawstring which is actually a drawstring. I bought some other PJs or like lounge set from Primark and I got the bottoms in a medium and then the drawstring wasn't actually a drawstring so they just fall down. Um, which is really annoying, but this I actually got these in a small anyway um, because of that experience. They also have got pockets, which I love, just love a pocket. So the lounge set together was £20, which I don't think is bad. And I think you probably could get away with wearing it out. Not to wear like out, but if you were in that and then you needed to go to the shop, it would be fine. And then the last clothing item I've got is this swimsuit. Um, so this was reduced from £12 to £5 and it's a secret slimming swimsuit with enhanced power mesh. So it's just got a crisscross at the back, like a kind of wrap over boob bit. It also has been made using 30%, at least 30% recycled materials, so that's nice. So basically the reason I bought this was because before lockdown I started going to aqua aerobics I'd started going with my mum and I actually really enjoyed it, it was a right laugh. But the only swimsuits I had were like bikinis or a bit more like sexy swimsuits. So I didn't really feel right jumping around in the pool in those kind of swimsuits. I just wanted something that was going to be a little bit more modest. So I thought I would get this, but I did try that on and it is still a little bit too booby. Obviously I've not included a try on clip, but yeah. Okay, so they were all the kind of clothing bits. Thing. we'll do accessories now I used to accessorize a lot like I would be wearing loads of different earrings necklaces bracelets ring I used to wear those massive rings all the time and I just kind of stopped doing it so I wanted to try and accessorize again so I've bought a few different bits so I got some hair accessories first I got these little clips which were two pound you've got a kind of blue toned one and then a like peachy toned one Basically, I just thought these would be pretty cute. I'm just trying to get one out to actually have a look. But it's proving difficult. I don't know, it could be cute. And I got a couple of hair bands. They are quite similar and I don't know whether I'm gonna love them or hate them. This one already, I think, is too big for my head. Like, obviously. <laughs> you're not gonna look normal with this thing sticking up. I don't know, I think my head's too big. I don't know. That was five pound. If you've got a different shaped head to me, that might be nice. And then I got this one, which is just the little pearls. This one was three pound. And I think this one's a little bit cuter. This is probably, I'll probably keep this one and maybe take the other one back. It's not really very me. I'm not really a very cutesy kind of person. I'm trying to just, branch out a bit more, try different things. Then I got this pack of necklaces, so three necklaces, it was two pound. So they're just some silver necklaces. So the bottom one's got a little diamond on it, the top one's got a diamond on it, and then the middle one is just a plain chain. So obviously you could wear those layered or on their own. Um, yeah, I just bought two pounds, that's not bad. Then I got these which look like they're for children, but I'm not gonna wear them on my wrist, I promise. So they're little horoscope charm bracelet-y things, but I'm gonna wear them as anklets. Also probably only gonna wear this blue one with the little flower on it, and the red heart, and then the Gemini one, because I'm a Gemini. But yeah, they were three pound. I thought they'd make really nice little anklets. And then the last accessory I got is this hat. I absolutely love this. Just love it. I love how this happens. So you look very like, it's just a nice hat. It's got this frayed detail at the side. With that black dress earlier, this completely changes it. If I wear that black dress with no accessories, it looks like I'm wearing a sack. If I wear the black dress and I put this on, it looks like I made an effort. 
um, and that was £3, so absolute bargain there. And then I got a few little bits from the home section. So I got a couple packs of their scented candles. I got clean cotton, white lilac and amber. And that smells really nice, just really fresh. And then I got tropical pink, which is raspberry and red apple. And that one obviously is just a little bit more fruity. So they burn up to three and a half hours and I always use the Primark tea lights for these little things here. If you haven't tried Primark tea lights, give them a go because the actual candles, they don't really smell, I don't find. Like they smell for maybe the first time you burn them and then they don't really smell. But the tea lights, I think where they're so small, they smell really nice. I just light it in the evening and then obviously it goes out by the time I go to bed. Um, obviously check that they've gone out before you go to bed. But yeah, perfect. Then I got this mini mug, mini mouse mug. This is actually a present for someone. Um, and this was just six pound, which is good. It's a nice size mug as well. I like quite a big mug. It's just got a gold handle and then little like mini mouse faces kind of carved into it. Carved into it. I'm sure they weren't carved into it by hand, by some man carving into it. They weren't carved. And then the final thing I got was some bedding. So it's this white bedding and it's just got a kind of like cushiony bit up here, super soft, which I can confirm it is. So it's just a double and it is £11. Duvet cover and then two pillowcases. I love white bedding, I just think it feels more luxurious, a bit more like sexy, I don't know, I just like white bedding. But if you fake tan, if you eat in bed, if you do anything in bed, your white bedding is going to get discoloured. So really handy to stock up on some more and for 11 quid it's not bad at all and I think when it's on this one's going to look a lot more expensive um, so that is it that's all I've got to show you today I think my favorite thing is the blazer um and the hat the blazer and the hat I'm happy very happy with those purchases if you did like this video make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you preferred this way of me filming it so I already had tried the items on before I filmed the sort of talking bit let me know if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you're having a wonderful day, whatever you are doing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!